Now we're going to have a look at one of the early flangers and this is my Ros flanger which I think was came out in somewhere in the early mid 70s and um, I've been hounding this thing for ages. I first saw it in a beautiful little funky guitar shop in uh, Berkeley, California, um, owned by a guy called Fat Dog. And uh, it was in this display case and the shop is like, like a bomb exploded. There's like thousands of guitars and, and pedals and leads and everything, flyers for local shows. And I saw this thing and I went, I need to have one because a friend of mine um, has the phaser, the Ross phaser, which is like a, a white box and it sounded so cool and analog. I was like, oh, I need that. So I saw it. I went, can I buy it? And uh, the guy went, you can, but I don't have the key to this cupboard anymore. So I'll try and open it up, come back in a few days. Went back in a few days, no key, no pedal. Damn. So I gave him my email address, said if you can open this thing up, I want it. Email it to me, I'll come and get it, I don't care. I need that flanger. <sighs> Two years go by, I go back to the store. Still there, same cabinet, no key, lots of stuff piled on top. You know, he's an eccentric guy, so he wasn't gonna budge. Okay, well, if you get it out, let me know. A year later, I went back. I said, this time I'm gonna walk away with this box, even if I have to break that thing open. So in I went, hey, fat dog, how you doing? Hi, man, yeah, you want that flanger? I said, yes, that would be nice. This is like, you know, the third transatlantic flight. That would be cool. Um, he said, still don't have the key. I said, don't care, we're gonna get this thing open. So I got my little Leatherman out. We cracked the case open and I have my flanger and I brought it back home and it works like a dream. So um, we've plugged it in. Uh, we've got the same guitar track as we used on that tape stuff. And we're going to have a listen. Again, we'll have a listen dry to the guitar and then we'll kick this thing in in fairly crazy settings so you can really hear what the flanger is doing. So here we go. This will be the clean version. All right, that's the clean version. Nice, stonesy kind of vibe. Now we're gonna kick this bad boy in. I've got it on a separate channel and we'll mix it in with the dry signal so you can really, really hear what's going on and how it's creating a movement. Really cool. So let's pick up a new playlist. There we go, blank. Kick that bad boy in and here we go. There you have it, true jet engine flange sound. Really cool, old school flanger. There's only a few boxes in the world that sound like it, like, you know, one of the original, the green Russian electric mistress flanges. Nothing beats it. And uh, I found this one really, really close and cool. So yeah, go and find one for yourself and have some fun with it. Okay, so our little, our little jet engine sound that we had going here was just a quick random set my settings until it was funky enough to demonstrate. So we have um, quite a long flange sweep so we get that big dive bomb and then it goes back up. 
um, the rate is how fast it does that so I like those really slow sweeps you know sort of Van Eddie Van Halen style um, you can increase that so this happens a lot quicker so we like that so you can get a bit more of a helicopter sound going and then I've got a balance set between the auto oscillator of the of the the pedal so you know what's what's affecting the sweep and, and a manual there's a couple of presets there and it's there's no markings on this box I don't even know if there were any at some point but you know it, it's one of those units where you play and you find it by ear what you need and stick with that and next time I set them to that I bet it won't sound exactly the same so you know <laughs> touch and go and find what you like and rock out